Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a Graphs plus Trees Bootcamp that we're launching at TLD Eliminators. So starting from why are we launching it? Who is this batch for? What are the prerequisites for joining this bootcamp? And what are the features that we're offering? And other things like who is teaching? Everything that you need to know basically about this bootcamp, I will be covering that in this video. So firstly, let's talk about why are we launching this batch? Uh, the primary reason is because you guys wanted it. When we launched our TLE 7.0 course, uh, you all know that, you know, at TLE Eliminators, we have very limited slots. And that's primarily because we want to, you know, ensure the quality of our courses. We have live interaction, we have live classes, and, you know, we have doubt support as well. So the problem here is that when you provide all of these things, uh, you cannot, you know, allow for unlimited enrollments. You cannot basically have unlimited students. And when we launched our TLE 7.0 course, uh, a lot of you could not take it up because, you know, the slots are limited. Now, as far as TLE 8.0 is concerned, that would be launched in July ending. And by that time, all of your, you know, summer vacations would end. So many people reached out to me and they were like, Priyansh, we have our summer vacations running. We want to upskill in competitive programming. We want to learn some advanced data structures when it comes to DSA. And we also want to prepare for coding tests and interviews. So that is why we are launching this, you know, mini bootcamp around graphs and trees. And a very strong reason why we are launching, uh, you know, this bootcamp on graphs and trees and not some basic topic like C++, STL or recursion is because we want genuinely interested and dedicated folks. We don't want people who are trying out DSA for the first time right now to join TLE Eliminators, this mini bootcamp. We want people who have made up their mind that they want to upskill in DSA and they want to upskill when it comes to competitive programming. These are the people who should join this bootcamp. Now let's talk about what is this, you know, batch for? Is this for just coding tests and interviews or is this for competitive programming? So it means that if you complete the first 45% of the course, you should be in a position to, you know, uh, give interviews and, you know, you should be able to ace them. As far as coding tests are concerned, I feel that, uh, you know, you should complete at least 70% of the course to perform very well in coding tests. And as far as the entire course is concerned, you know, we are basically preparing you to solve code forces C level problems and code forces D level problems. So yes, as far as this, uh, you know, question goes, uh, this is relevant for coding tests, interviews, as well as competitive programming. And I would say most people who should be joining this course are people who are actually interested towards a bit of the advanced DSA or, you know, the competitive programming side. Because I feel as far as, you know, the interviews are concerned, you can find a lot of content on the internet, which can help you prepare very well. But as far as, you know, the coding tests are concerned, you need to upskill a bit more. So let's talk about the subtopics that we're covering in this bootcamp on both of these topics of trees and graphs. As far as trees are concerned, we would be starting from the basic terminology, properties, representation. And I feel like, you know, even if you look at code forces, most of the problems like 1600, even 1700 rated problems, they mostly focus on, you know, terminology, representation, and, you know, uh, like the basic properties and also the traversals. So I think uh, beyond that, when we go for something like binary lifting, Euler tour, you know, subtree queries and something like DP on trees, these are going to be fairly advanced topics. Uh, you can expect some of them in coding tests, but most of them you will find in, you know, problems which are sort of very, very difficult, like, you know, 1800 or 1900 rated problems on code forces. As far as graphs are concerned, again, we'll be starting from the very, very scratch. We'll start from basic terminology, you know, basic representation. Then we'll move on to topics like DFS, BFS, and we'll also look at their, you know, basic applications, like, you know, bridges and articulation points. And we'll also move to, you know, things like shortest path algorithms, which comprise of Dijkstra, Bellman Ford and Floyd Warshall. What we'll be doing is that we'll first of all teach you how these algorithms work. And then we'll be primarily focusing on, you know, the application. For example, when I say we are going to teach you Dijkstra, which is the shortest path algorithm, then we won't just be teaching you how the algorithm works and, you know, there's some standard problems on it. We will be looking at very, very advanced code forces problems as well, which would teach you how to apply these concepts. Because see, at the end of the day, you can learn how an algorithm works. You can learn the implementation. You can even memorize it. But the real game is actually applying all of these concepts. So in this course or in this entire bootcamp, the main focus will be on application. After shortest path algorithms, we'll be looking at this famous concept of disjoint set union. And once we complete that, this would also help us in learning about minimum spanning trees, especially the Kruskal's algorithm. Beyond that, we'll be looking at directed graphs and their, you know, algorithms, which are something like cycle detection in a directed graph, topological sorting, and also this concept of strongly connected components. Like I said, we'll be starting from the very scratch. Gradually, we'll build up, we'll increase the difficulty. And then we'll be looking at very, very advanced concepts, which will help you tackle even code forces, 1800, 1900 level problems. Now, as far as the features, you know, that we're offering are concerned. So first of all, this will be a four weeks long program, which will involve live lectures. When we conduct a live session, obviously the recording of that session would be available. So as far as the live lectures are concerned, we'll be having two live lectures every single week. 
the first lecture will be on tuesday and the second lecture will be on i think saturday so um, what we'll be doing is that we'll be covering a 1.5 hours to 2 hours long lecture primarily covering theory and a bit of problem solving and after every lecture we'll be giving you practice problems especially curated from you know code forces code chef lead code all of these platforms we've specially selected all of these problems to you know help you upskill the most now in case you're stuck on any problem be it from graphs and trees or be it from the course or outside the course there will be proper doubt support available uh, you know we'll be having an entire discord server as soon as you create a query there will be a private thread allocated to you and some mentor will be allocated to you there and it will be like a very private setting so a mentor can interact with you one on one right so the queries don't have to be limited to the course or what you're teaching anything that you feel like uh, you're stuck at any dsa or cp problem you're free to ask queries on these now another thing that we're offering in this course is the progress tracking feature so on our website what we've done is that we've integrated a code forces integration through which uh, once you link your code forces handle to our website every time you solve one of our practice problems it automatically syncs your submissions and you know you get a score for that now what we do with the score is that we rank you on the TLE leaderboard so at the end of the boot camp the top 3 winners would also get you know some TLE merchandise so as far as the prerequisites are concerned first of all like i said this course is not for somebody who's trying out dsa for the first time who's trying out competitive programming for the first time this is for especially dedicated people who are genuinely interested who know that they want to spend the next one month grinding at you know data structures algorithms and competitive programming so the first prerequisite is that you should be very very comfortable in any of these programming languages which are c++ java or python next you should have a fair bit of understanding of c++ stl or you know it's equivalent like java uh, collection framework other than that you should be fairly comfortable with recursion and backtracking why are we saying this because both trees and grass they involve a lot of recursion uh, all of these topics like dfs bfs not bfs uh, especially dfs topological sorting strongly connected components dp on trees all of these will require you know heavy knowledge of recursion so if you're not comfortable in recursion this is not the course that you should be joining other than that we also require a lot of time dedication from you we require at least two hours every single day which you know becomes like a 12 hours per week kind of curriculum the other prerequisite that we have is that you should be fairly comfortable with online judges and you should have done you know some sort of practice on your own by now basically if you've solved 100 problems on all of the platforms combined like code forces code chef lead code all of these things then you're fine to go for this course otherwise you know i would still say don't take this course up it's fairly advanced uh, spend some time learning on your own and the next time when we launch tle 8.0 that's the time when you can join now let's talk about who exactly is teaching uh, so first of all most of the content i think 60 percent or even more than that will be covered by me my name is priyan chagarwal i am an icpc world finalist other than that i am a master on code forces and i also got india rank one in google kickstart in one of the rounds uh, some other lectures will be taken by dev karan dev karan has been you know one of the faculties at tle eliminators he has been teaching for a very long time and most of the you know feedback that we've got for dev karan is that uh, this guy is really good with trees and grass so that is why we wanted him to be in this you know uh, boot camp and as far as his achievements are concerned he's an expert on code forces almost a candidate master other than that he's also got air 61 in one of the google kickstart rounds so yeah that is all that we have for this uh, video uh, i just wanted to talk about all the things that we're covering in this boot camp uh, who is this boot camp again for this is uh, for people who are genuinely interested dedicated folks uh, people who are preparing for coding tests interviews uh, you know competitive programming all of these people are included in this so again i would say the doubt support is the main usp uh, most people who consider our courses are tle eliminators are people who are genuinely interested in you know the doubt support mostly the batch starts i mean basically the slots open up on the 10th of june you can go onto the website and you can basically browse through the entire uh, course page to get some more understanding of this course in case you are genuinely interested in this be sure to stay active on the website uh, on the 10th of june at 5 pm ist and yeah that's all goodbye